Hello and welcome to my next tutorial which will be on Windows. So to start off we shall make a little hole in this wall. As you can see I've made a wee addition here to the wee tutorials that I've been making. I've made a room here with some custom textures that I've made myself. Right, anyway, let's make a window. So select our wall. I want my window to be about 40 units high. That'll do nicely, right? So, make my grid size a bit bigger. Eight picks, eight, eight units will do. Uh, Forty units high, and let's say sixty-four by one hundred and four. That'll do. Right. Now, what we can do here. Now that we've got this set up here, let's go to two. Uh, sorry, browse textures before we press enter, and search for no draw tools. No draw. Okay, now we can hit enter. Okay, now go to tools with this selected. Go to tools and curve. Now what that's done is, pretty much, I'll just move this out of the way, it's gave us our hole for our window. Right, there it's back. Right, now what I'm going to do now is, go to two units on my grid size, and bring it in. No, I'm going to bring it in even more. One unit grid size, and make my window a width of two units. Right. Now I'm going to go back to 4 grid size with my units, bring it down 4 units, up 4 units. Basically I'm going to make a frame for my window and it's going to be a 4 unit width frame. Now I'll make the frame before I start with the window here. Just take a wee second. my textures, I'll use a concrete, oh, if I could spell, and concrete floor, that'll do, and enter, and I'll pretty much just do that all the way around. texture the inside of the window here all the way around now what we want to do is just texture one side doesn't matter if it's this side or this side just as long as we texture one side with uh, a glass texture obviously so I'll do this side browse I'm gonna use glass Search glass and I know what I'm going to actually use off and it'll be this one off WNDWB and I'm going to apply that to just that space and as you can see we can see in but we can't see out but don't worry in game we will be able to see out now. I'm going to double, I'm not going to double click, I'm going to click in the glass window and hold down control and press T and make it funk breakable surf and you can change the health which means it'll take longer to smash like you'll need to shoot it more to smash it and things like that but to be honest I'm happy with the just the, 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 the defaults because they're 
a window, you shoot it, it breaks. Unless you want a window that doesn't break. Um, and that's pretty much a window. I'm going to pause this now and I will start up the game and we will see the window working. Oh, before I do that, browse my textures. Here's a few textures I've made. I'll make them a bit bigger here. Some of them are not bad. Some of them I've actually used Valve presets and just added my own brickwork. Just used their window there and added my own brickwork. A couple of carpets. Yeah, anyway, there's just a couple of them. I've got a lot more, but. I'll do it. I'm going to pause the video and start up the game, and you'll see this in game. Okay, then. So I'm starting up the game here, and I've still not fixed that wee block up the top left there. Right, you'll see that the texture on the window is not fit or in place correctly if you know what I mean it's off you'll see it now see it there at the left before I smash the window that is to fix it you just click on the side that the texture of the window is and just hit fit and the texture will fit in the window now I don't know if you'll notice straight away but I added some volumetric lighting to my window which you'll hopefully be able to see because it's not a very dark map and a darker map it would have well I could have made it lighter so that you could see it actually but in a darker map it would have looked much better you can slightly see it there coming from the window and hitting the ground there's my gun and it goes right down to the ground yeah, anyway I hope you enjoyed my tutorial